Christ's faith. Yeah. Amen. See, if somebody dies in Christ as a believer yeah. in Christ, yeah. they got the best waiting on them. Amen. Amen. We just don't really understand it. Amen. We can't see it with our eyes. That's right. So when we hear that, a lot of people, even believers, yeah. because you know what? It takes faith. Amen. Okay? And a lot of believers, especially today, don't have faith. And that's just the facts. Right. A lot of people might go to church, but they, they don't really have that faith. Amen. They don't trust God for nothing. Right. They just go to church and shout hallelujah and think that they're going to be blessed by osmosis. Right. Right. Just because you're there, you're going to be blessed. No, you got to put some work in around here. Baby. Okay? I, I'm just telling you. God ain't telling you to break yourself. I haven't found that verse yet in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. God just told you to give. Amen. Amen. See, there are ways that we are supposed to live and act as believers. Amen. God is never going to tell you to do something that is not right. Amen. Okay. And that is not beneficial for you. Amen. So real quick, I just want us, I just want us to go someplace real quick. You you know, uh, anybody know anything about the book of Psalms? Amen. Yes. In particular, Psalms 37. Yeah. I want us to go to Psalms 37. And I'm doing that because the Holy Spirit just said, just go there and spend a little time with that. Because, like I said, we need to really start. Believing what we read. The reason why we fall short, the reason why we go through things unnecessarily, the, the reason why things get rough on us. You hear I say us, not the world. But on us as believers. The reason why things get rough on us is because we fail to believe it. See, God works on your behalf because of your belief. Right. See, some of us, somebody will come and bless your life, whether it's financially, whether it's giving you something, or whether it's helping you in this situation, and we'll praise that person right. more than we praise God mm -hmm. that brought the person to you. Right. Yes. We'll just be thanking that person all up and down. Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. You, you, you would almost, if the person bend over, you kiss them. <laughs> That's just how we are as people. We look at people and there it is. Amen. Oh, I got to thank them. I got to show them my appreciation. Boy, all the way to the nth degree. Uh -huh. Instead of thanking God for bringing that person. Yeah. See, if you're a believer and if you really believe the Bible, then you know that things just don't happen by happenstance. Amen. No, it don't. Right. God is the one who moves. Yeah. He moves people. He moves people in your life. And he'll move them out your life. Amen. And sometimes when he move them out, it's permanent. Amen. That's the part that hurts. Mm. That's the part that hurts deep inside. Right. It's like, wait a minute, what am I going to do now? How can I go on? How can I live? Mm. There's a big old hole in my heart. Mm. But when we give it to God, and I understand, people say, oh man, it ain't easy to give to God. Now, believe me, I know. Yeah. I'm standing up here with a person who's been hurt over my lifetime. Right. Had people taken out of my life over my lifetime. And they're not coming back. Right. But I have to continue to live. Amen. Until it is my time. Amen. And then somebody else, I have a hole in their heart. Right. That's right. So I just want to encourage you as a believer, okay, stop talking about, oh, you know, I'm a believer. Stop talking about, oh yeah, I'm baptized, I'm saved. <laughs> Quit talking that old talk. I'm baptized, I'm saved, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I don't want to hear all that. Right. You ain't proving nothing to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You telling me something that I got myself. Amen. 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 So I don't have to, you know, children of God don't go have to go around proving themselves. Right. Amen. 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 So if you're a believer, then don't go and be a believer. Yeah. Be a believer. Psalms 
37. Sir. We're going to be looking at verses 3, 4, 5. We there? Yeah. Psalms 37. Yeah. Verses 3, 4, and 5. We have to remember that, you know, our God can do it all. Amen. Yes, he can. A lot of us don't want to open our mouth. <laughs> you don't want to talk to him. Okay, until you get in some mess. Mm -hmm. You know, the best, the best relationships that people have is not when you're in trouble. Right. <laughs> okay, come on now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. It's not when we're in trouble. But when everything is going good, right, that's right. you sitting down biting people out for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you can. Uh -huh. that's right, that's right. Okay? And because you want to. Uh -huh. And you develop in relationships, sit down, talk. Or you get on the phone. Hey, I'm just calling to be called and see how you're doing. Man. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing going wrong over here. You know, ain't nothing going on wrong over there where you at either. But you know, I just want to hear your voice. Man. That's right. That's that's right. right see, that's how you develop these relationships. Mm -hmm. Not when, oh man, if it, man, I ain't got enough money to, they gonna cut my lights off. I ain't got enough money to pay the rent. Let me let me call brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, you know, see if they can help me out financially. That ain't building no relationship. Okay? You're begging. See, a lot of people know I can use different words, but I don't want to. You know, I can say, oh, well, they're just asking because they need a little help. And I'm, I can say it like that if I want to. But I don't think that's necessary. You begging. You know how I know I begged before? Amen. I'm speaking on what I know. Okay? I used to be a beggar. Anytime I didn't have it, oh man, I just might say, I know they got that. I know they got some money. I know they got this, or I know they got that. You know? And, and, and there I go. You know? I never have to pull out fake tears or nothing. You know what I mean? Like some people do. You know? But I have been. You know, and sometimes we got to realize, hey, look, if you've got a relationship with somebody, you don't have to beg. Yes, All you got to do is talk. Amen. See, so when I'm encouraging you, look, get a relationship with God, and all you got to do is talk. Amen. Just talk to him. You know, they got a little song, have a little talk with Jesus. Amen. Makes it right. Yeah. And then say, oh, all right. Oh. You know what I mean? I'd rather talk to Jesus than you. Amen. Okay? No, no disrespect to you. I love you. But to be honest, I'd rather talk to Jesus than to talk to y'all. Amen. You know? Why? Because he listens. Amen. Okay? Even, and he answers even though it's not right then and there, but he will answer. Why? Because I trust him. Amen. Why do I trust him? Because of the time that I spend with him. Yes. Our problem is, or, or people today, Christians today, they don't spend no time with God. Uh, I'm say that. They want to spend time with other people. Mm, come on now. They don't want to spend time with God. So, you know, the sad part is this, and then we're going to go into the text. The sad part is, you know, when you don't spend time with God, then you can't help nobody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that one more time. Sure. If you don't spend no time with God, you cannot help anybody. All that hugging ain't going to get it. Okay? All that, oh, you know I love you, that ain't going to get it. Even if you, you, you need some financial needs met, that still ain't going to get it. That's temporary. Okay? See, God heals permanently. Yes, it does. Yes, that's it what does. he does. Amen. Trust me, that's what he does. Now, how long it lasts, as long as you're probably in that body. You know, you hear what I'm saying? When it's time to go, I don't care what kind of healing you got. Okay, come on now. <laughs> Remember that. Remember, we serve a wise God. We serve a God who knows everything. Okay. Now, God can heal you. Okay, but if it's your time to go, he taking you. And that healing. 
That's just what. Amen, church? Amen. Okay, that's what he does. And I'm glad that's what he does. Because at least I know if I go to him, I know he hears me. And this is what you got to get in your brain. Okay? If I talk to God, he hears me. You don't have to speculate, well, Lord, did you hear me? See, because a lot of believers now, they think God ain't listening. Do you hear me? They think God is not listening, but God is listening. But you don't hear him because you don't trust him. I hear my wife because I trust her. I know she's not going to do anything to harm me. Amen. Even if she do try to give me something to taste and I don't like it. I know she's not doing that to harm me. <laughs> hey man, it's not gonna harm me. You know what I mean? It might be nasty, <laughs> but it's not gonna kill me or anything. So I know she's for my good and for my benefit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. She is a gift from God. Amen. Okay. Amen. She is. But if she is that good to me? Imagine what, how good God is. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get you to. Look, God first. God first. Yeah. God first. Right. God has to be first. Yeah. Yeah. God will heal you. He'll heal your relationship. He'll heal your family. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Okay, there's a lot of people in the body of Christ now that lost respect. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Because of their actions. Yeah. But God will heal all of that if you give it to him and spend time with him. Yes, yes. God will heal everything. Yes, yes. That's what he does. Yes. Our problem is we ain't got no patience. Mm -hmm. Come on now. We ain't got no patience, but I ain't going to go into the patience thing. Okay? Amen. But we're looking at Psalms 37, mm -hmm. verse 3, 4, and 5. Read along and pay attention. Pay attention. Amen? Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we ask that you will bless our hearing, Almighty God, so that we will be able to hear what you have to say. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Verse 3. Read as follows. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt. Sometimes I knew sooner or later the electronics would get in the way. <laughs> you know. Oh, won't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me this. You're going to make me get back to my Bible now. Right. Old, school. Old school way. Man. Pages all marked up in my Bible. So that works. Amen? Amen? Okay, so we're looking at 37. 3, 4, and 5. 3, 4, and 5. The words of his mouth are the wicked's. Oh, that's 36. Hold on. 3, 4, and 5. Trust in the Lord and do good and dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. A little different. But, 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 but you know, we have to first step, trust. We have to trust in God. Why? Because God is faithful. See, his faithfulness goes past our understanding. Amen. See, if we would just trust, you know what? We trust in each other so much to where you don't want to trust God. Why? Because you trust in people. You know, this person always does this for me. So we'll go to those people, but the minute they say no to you, now they're a bad person. 
<laughs> the minute they turn you down or stop doing something, they become the bad person. See, see, God is not like that. You know why? Because see, what God does in the relationship, he starts changing you. Anybody in here want to be changed? Amen. See, because I want to be changed. Amen. If you want to be changed, just raise your hand if you want to be changed. See, because we should all want to be changed. Why? Because we know our own dirt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you hear me? We know our own dirt. We cover up our dirt. Okay. If we're around somebody else, oh, I got to make sure I'm fully clothed so I can cover up my dirt. Right. Because you don't want nobody to see your dirt. Yeah. You want to walk around like you clean. Okay. All the time. Right. But we know that's not true. You know why? We take showers, right? Okay. We take baths, right? right? Most of the time, I remember when I was a kid, that's all we had was bathtub. Right. We just took baths all the time. Okay? Right. Oh yeah, as a kid, that's what we had. No shower, right. just get in the bathtub. Right. And I mean, it was one after the other. Right. Sometimes two in one. <laughs> real? Right. For real? Right. Okay? Because you had to get in the bathtub. Yeah. When you get out, it's a ring net. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on, y'all that know what I'm talking about. I know some people, I'm not going to point you out, but I know that you're in here and you know those bathtub rings. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes the ring be in there and they filling up some fresh water. Yeah. And that ring still in the tub. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Some of us, we got dirt. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. See, that, that, that kind of dirt, see, God sees that. See, God knows that. You know, so it's up to us to make sure that we try to stay as clean as possible. We know walking around in, the, in this life and in this world and, and dealing with people, because most of us deal with people who are not saved. Amen. Amen. See, when you working and you out there dealing with people in the world, the majority of the people you meet, they ain't saved. Right. And the sad part about it is, those that you do meet, they act like they ain't saved. Yeah. Amen. 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 And that's just the facts. Yeah. See, see, we as believers, we have to start dealing with the truth. The truth. Amen. Okay, because the more you deal with the truth, the better off you're going to be. Right. And like I said, we all should want to change. Right. Amen? Amen? So, in verse 4 it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. How many people want God Amen. to really give them what they're asking for? I, I do. Amen. I really want God to give me you know, some of the things that I'm asking for. See, because yeah. some of us are kind of stupid <laughs> when we're asking. Right. Sometimes we ask for things that we don't even need. Amen. 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 We ask foolishly, shall I say. Mm. Amen. If you're sick, why are you asking for a whole bunch of money? <laughs> that don't add to me. It doesn't add up. Yeah. Say God say, okay, man, all they gotta do is ask for me to touch that particular thing. And hey, I'll do it. Amen. But they got all these other things in front of the vital thing. The most important thing is here. But you won't bring that up before God. You'll bring this mess up before God. you bring this human mess before God. That's why we fall short so many times. See, the only time we, I see people really getting real with God most of the time is when they're sick. Let any one of us in here get sick. Got to go to the hospital. Whatever you have ain't gonna matter to nothing. Come on now. You could care less about that thing. That's right. 
You done just bought a new car and only drove it for a week. And you in the hospital. Right. Come on now. You ain't gonna be saying, Lord, please help me to make the car payment, please. I, you know, I'm up in there on, on, on this sick bed. You ain't gonna be thinking about that brand new car. You know why? Because somebody else gonna be driving it in a minute. Oh, right. And you can care less about it. And you gonna tell them, look at just take the car. I don't care about the car. You know, please, you know, pray for me. See, that's when we get real. Okay? But see, I'm telling you, we need to get real with God before we get to that point. Why? Because, see, I don't want to go to the hospital. See, see, that's the way your mindset, your mindset should be, Lord, I need to develop my relationship with you and my trust in you and realize that you said in your word, let me tell you something, I've always told you guys, always bring the word back up to God. Whatever God said in the word, bring it back to him. Amen. Bring it back. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Well, well, God, you know, you said in your word that, brother, and make sure you write with the scripture, though. Amen. Don't be trying to add nothing to it. Don't try to take nothing away. If you're going to quote the word to God, make sure you quote his word. Okay? Don't be paraphrasing. Because paraphrasing takes some of the power out. Amen. Okay? So whatever the word say, that's what you bring back to God. Why? Because he's the word. Amen. The word will honor his word. Amen. If God said it, I believe it, that sells it. So if you believe it, then that's what you need to be bringing up before him. Like I've always told you, when you pray and pray the word. Amen. Why? Because you can't go wrong. And not only that, you will get what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. But like I've always said, don't talk to God like he don't know what he's doing. Okay. Don't talk to God like you talk to Pastor Wicks. Right. Don't talk to God like you talk to your kids. Don't talk to God like you talk to your friends and all that kind of stuff. You need to stop that. <clears throat> when you talk to God, boy, you better remember he's reverence, but he's holy. Amen. You can't bring no dirty foolishness up before God's throne. He's holy. Amen. You've been to burn yourself along the way. And I don't want you to be burnt. It's bad enough some of us gonna be going in smelling like smoke. Barely making it into the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Put the fire out on your way going through the gates. You know what I'm saying? Just bring, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh man. Ooh. You know? Then you going up in there, somebody that, that know you from down there, hey, what's going on, Pastor Williams? And then you're gonna be walking, hey man, what's going on? They're gonna say, Smokey. <laughs> You don't want to be one of the smoky ones. No. Amen. Amen. You don't want that. I mean, hallelujah, you made it. Yeah. But you don't want them to be calling you smoky. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on now. You don't want that. You want to be able to have it down here and when you go home. Amen. That's what you want. Amen. Amen. That's what you want. So you got to delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, don't run away saying, Pastor William said, you know, God is a genie. Right. Don't do that. Okay? Remember that the God that I'm talking about is the creator of all things. Amen. Amen. He knows what you need before you even ask him. Yes. See, and this is what we don't remember. Okay, God knows what you have in the scripture. God knows what you have need of before you even ask him. Amen. Well, well, wait a minute now. If God, if God knows what I need before I ask him, then he must be willing to give it to me. Come on now. Because he already knows before I open my mouth. He's just waiting on me. Right. He's just waiting on you. Yes. 
Quit selling him short. Quit thinking that he can't do it. See, that's our problem. We think that God can't do some things. See, and, and some of you guys might think that, oh, you got some big things. Your stuff is small. Your big thing is a little thing to God. I just want to let you know. So you need to start asking for big things. Amen. 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 I don't care if it's your business. I don't care. I don't care if it's your relationship. I don't care what it is yes. that you feel like is, is hard to do and, and it's trying on you. Hey, that's because you ain't giving it to God. Right. Yeah. 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 Quit giving it to him, then you peeking back to see it, you know. Go, don't even be looking for it. <laughs> see, if you really trust God, you ain't got to look for it. That's right. Yeah. Because it's gonna come. Amen. 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 It's gonna come. How many of us really believe that Jesus is coming back? Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you see that's that's everybody in this room. Okay. But what you gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> see, right now, yeah, you raising your hand, you believe it. Yeah. Amen. Because you're getting stirred up and fired up, and you know God is watching. Okay. okay. But see, are you gonna be like that tomorrow? Right. 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 When you're around sinners, right. when you're around people who don't believe, are you gonna have that same attitude? Shoot, I ain't gonna do what they doing because Jesus is coming back. Right. <laughs> see, you gonna have that kind of attitude. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna have it right now, Sunday evening, because I asked the question. And then Monday, tomorrow come, like I told you. We around most sinners than we are believers. Yeah. And sometimes we participate <laughs> in what unbelievers do. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. I said, don't we? Yeah. Oh, see, see, yeah. see, right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. And I know people up in here sin. Yeah. But I didn't hear it come out just now. <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. See, when you're quiet mm -hmm. yeah. or when you don't understand something and you just said when I put that, put that Jesus out there, everybody want to raise their hand. Mm -hmm. But then when I ask a more simpler question, you know, most of y'all ain't saying it. You're telling off on yourself. Okay, see, because what we're supposed to do, when we hear the truth go forward and we know God is watching and listening, then we need to make sure that our amens are in order. Amen. That's true. Okay, what the Bible say? If you shame me before men, mm, I, shame you. Shame you. I shame you before my father. Now, who wants to be, who wants Jesus to call your name to the father and then it, he shames you? I don't tell me what Kurt is talking about. I don't care about that. I, I see him on that Sunday evening. He ain't, he ain't saying nothing. See, I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you to a place to where your life, okay, your life has to mean something. Amen. Your belief in God has to mean something. Oh yeah, right now. Because a lot of us got big dreams. Amen. Or we want certain things. Amen. So I want you to understand you have to do your part to get it. Verse 5 says this. Commit. Commit. Now we look around here for earthly commitments, don't we? All the time. Whether it's in, whether it's uh, I need a husband or I need a wife or whether my kids need to mind me, or, or whether, you know, the people in the job, you know what I'm saying, they need to do this, and they need to do that. Whatever it is, there's a commitment all around you mm -hmm. where you have to be committed to. If you if you got your, got an apartment, you committed to pay that rent, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. And most of the time, you pay that rent, too, mm -hmm. with no problems. Mm -hmm. Right? You pay that rent before you give your offer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but we know that's backwards. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. We give to God first. Amen. That's what we're supposed to do. Yes. And God didn't say, well, you got to break yourself when you give your offering. No, God didn't say that. God just said, give, right? Right. He said, give, not grudgingly nor of necessity, because God loveth 
a cheerful yeah. giver. Yeah. And some people will probably tell you, well, how can a man rob God? You know, some people go there. Right, right, right. right. You know? Yeah. Ties and off. That's right. Mm. Okay. But like I said before, if you are a giver, then I'm going to finish this. If you are a giver, then your giving will outweigh your ties. Yeah, that's right. Do you hear me? And hear me good. See, because I'm a giver. Okay? I ain't trying to go up under no laws. Uh, See, that's why you gotta be Bible smart. You gotta understand what the scriptures be saying. Otherwise, you gonna you gonna be caught up. Amen. 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 You gonna be caught up. Yes, Just do what the Word of God says. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now the God says when people use that tithes and offering, yeah, they put that over there. That's a law. Okay. Jesus came to fulfill the law. Right. And the prophets. Right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So, the giving part comes in with Jesus. So, he didn't say, give a dollar. Mm -hmm. And you making good money. Right. He didn't say that, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, give. Why? Because if you give, I'll give. Yeah. You know, I'm just breaking it down for you. Yeah. If you give, I'll give. Okay? And you'll never be without. Amen. Okay? As long as you're giving what you're supposed to be doing, then I will make sure that you will never run out. Yes. Yes. And I tested him and tried him for myself. Come on. Come on. I tested him with the tithes and offerings, and I tested him with my giving. Come on now. And when you have a heart that loves God, and everybody don't have a heart that loves God, Okay, but when you have a heart that truly loves God, then you will give out of your abundance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody yeah. hear what I'm saying right now. Yeah, so you will yeah. give yeah. out of your abundance. Yeah. If God is blessing you, then you shouldn't have a problem with Come what on. you drop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this too. Every pastor don't give. Amen. <laughs> I know I'm getting trouble for this. Amen. But every pastor don't get it. I I've been around pastors, don't get it. Okay? Recently I was around a pastor that took. But I ain't gonna say it, I'm gonna leave it like that. You can't take stuff that ain't yours. Amen. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. You can't take what's not yours. And then say it's yours. I mean, come on now. But you're giving. Okay? Yeah. Your giving outweighs your tithes. If you have that heart, you yeah. you just a giver. Yes. And, and, and it don't matter to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you know as long as God has equipped you to give, yeah. God will give it back and then some. Yeah. That's why the scripture is in there. Good measure. Yeah. Yeah. Press down, down. Yes. 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 shaking together, yes. running over, yes. shall men, shall yes. people give into your bosom. Yes. They'll be giving to you, be like this. Woo. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes. I mean, because they're giving to you. Why? Because of what yes. your giving is. And then God says, Look, I see you giving. Yes. Let me make sure that, boom, you keep. Getting yours, so you can keep giving, you can keep helping people. You know what I'm saying? When God gives to us, it's not just for us, but it's because of what we do. Okay? So I just want us to understand that. Be a giver. Yes, sir. Amen. Because if you're a giver, it's gonna be more than what your tenth gonna be. If you got if you made a hundred dollars, what you gonna give when you go to church? Ten dollars. You gonna give ten dollars. Okay? But you know, really, you can get twenty-five. Right. See, a giver will give at least 25 of it. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Amen. So who outweighs what? See, the giver is giving more. Okay? The tither is just giving that and no more. No more. I know some people who tithe and that's it. 
I'm just giving my tithe. I ain't giving nothing extra. <laughs> you know why? Because they've been trained and been preached to that, hey, give your tithes. Right. And some of them won't even say an offering. Right. Okay, but it's tithes and offerings. And so offering. if you're going to do the law, then give your tenth of what you made and, and also offering. now throw in your offering. Right. Okay, that yeah. means you're extra. That's it. But see, if you're a giver, you ain't yeah. got to worry about none of that. That's right. Come on, yeah. 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 I'm just giving here. Boom. Yeah. Lord, you've been good to me. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't counting nothing. Yeah. This is what I put aside. Boom. Here you go. Okay, and that's the way we should do it. Okay, five says this commit. Okay, sell out to God. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yeah. See, there are certain things that we have to remember that we have to do in order for God to react. Amen. Yeah. Right. Hey, yes, you want God to react to what you, what you need or what you desire or whatever, then that means you're willing to do it God's way. Right. Yeah. In order to get God to work on your behalf, then you have to do it God's way. Because the word of God will move God. Why? Because he has to keep his word. And in his word is his will. And in his word is his promises. Sure, it's going to be rough on you from time to time. Sure, it's going to seem like God, you know what I'm saying, don't hit you. Sure, you're going to have days like that. We all do. Amen. But the thing is, what are you going to do while you're waiting? Yeah. Yeah. See, while you're waiting, be happy in the Lord. Amen. Okay? Oh, Lord, I thank you. Yeah, I don't see it today, Lord, but I trust you. Yeah. Just keep me, yeah. keep me strong yeah. while I'm waiting. Yeah. That's right. Okay, and if I'm not waiting, then give me something else to do. Yeah. Give me something else to do. Because what we do is after a while we'll stop waiting. Mm. Uh. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> See, we'll stop waiting. Yeah, we Amen. Yeah. But it clearly says commit. So if you committed to it, that means you'll continue to wait. Right. Why? Because my commitment is there. Amen. Okay, and not only that, you you committed, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you have or, or or however you are as a person, you've given all that to God. You committed your ways to the Lord. Yes. See, our problem is we don't want to commit our ways to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then after that, we don't trust Him. Right. See, we don't commit and we don't trust Him. Mm -hmm. You know, so how is He going to bring all that to pass? We have to remember who we are. Amen? Amen. We have to remember who we are in Christ. Yes. We have to remember without a doubt that we believe in him. Yes. That's what we have to do. Amen. Amen. Amen? How many people believe in God? Amen. Or should I say, how many people right now believe more in God? Amen. See, see, I believe more in God. You know why? Because I know that I can't help myself. Amen. 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 <laughs> I can only do so much. Yeah. And, and you know what they say, your best ain't good enough. Amen. Well, as long as you do your best, that's all we can ask. But your best don't be good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. In sports, people do their best all the time, so they say. When we be watching, we feel like, oh, they ain't doing their best. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when they get interviewed, I, I tried my best. <laughs> tried my best. Yeah. You know, well, your best ain't good enough. Right. You know, that's what that's all about. Your best is not good enough. <laughs> so if we want the best from God, we have to remember, we need to give God us. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, and I'm going to challenge you in this, try to give to God more than what you have been lately. See, because I, and don't blame it on COVID. Amen. See, see, people blame a lot of stuff on COVID. Yeah. You know, just social distance, wear your mask, and hopefully get your, get your shots. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get into all that, you know, because a lot of, a lot of Christians make me mad at that. Okay? They don't want what on them. I got to say this before I sit down. Sorry, guys, but, but, but I must. 
I must, as, as, as a leader in this church and as a member of the body of Christ, you know, I have to say this. And I don't care whether you had the shot, whatever. I, I could care less. And they're always talking about, you know, Christians or, or leaders in the church. You know, mo the majority of them are telling people to get vaccinated. Okay? Now, I just want to say this because I love you guys. And I know that somebody is going to hear this. All right? Don't you ever, especially from this church, don't you ever say it's a religious right. I'm doing it because of my religious reasons. Mm. You wrong. You wrong. You wrong. You're trying to put stuff on God and it doesn't belong on God. You're lying. Okay? You're lying on God talking about his religious reasons. I can't take the shot. And I'm saying this because I'm tired of hearing Christians put that out there. Hiding behind that. You halfway even go to church. You don't know how to lead nobody to Christ. But you're trying to hide behind God. Know your Bible then. If you want to talk about all those stuff, look here, you want to talk about where the shot is wrong and all this kind of stuff, well, you're sleeping with that girl. You want to talk about Bible? <laughs> Yo, they're fornicating. <laughs> but you want to talk about all, oh, you don't do it because it, the Bible say don't do it. <laughs> but you're doing that. you lying. The Bible tell you don't do that. See, you can't hide behind God. That's right. Amen? Yeah. This is a world epidemic. This is a world health crisis. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you what the Bible do say. The Bible say obey the laws of the land. Anybody know that? Anybody know that? Yeah. Anybody know that? Yeah. Yeah. The Bible tells you to obey the laws of the land. Okay? The Bible tells you to give Caesars with Caesars. I mean, come on now. That's what I try to tell Christians. Don't tell me you're a Christian and you're doing things opposite. It don't work. <laughs> but you want God to bless you. You want to hide behind something just because you don't want to do it. You just rebellious is what you are. And that's it. So I'm good. I just wanted to get that out. You know what I mean? I just want to get that out of my You know, because I I'm just tired of, of hearing believers telling other believers, you know what I'm saying, it's your religious right. Quit lying to people. Yeah. Mm. See, I can go real deep. COVID ain't in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that if I just wanted to be crazy about it. You, you know, but I just want to encourage us. Look, do what's right. Look at the Bible for yourself. Listen to what God says. Okay, not what people running around here with their mouth, with their agendas. Forget all that. 